let's have a chat, shall we, guys? Take a seat. First of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name's Jared. I'm 36 years old. I've been doing YouTube for roughly 10 years. Um, within those 10 years, I've had quite an experience. <laughs> quite an experience. That is an understatement. Today's subject, Jared Genesis, doesn't get as much attention as Chris Chan or, say, Cyrax. But make no mistake about it, he is every bit as, if not more, vile than they are. Having said that, please stay away from him. What he wants more than anything is attention, so don't give it to him. He's been on YouTube for more than a decade. Sadly, a lot of his content is lost due to his habit of making new channels every so often and occasionally nuking the old ones. Fortunately, some have survived this cleansing process. Between that and the people who have been documenting him, the story is still there. Mostly. There were a few clips I searched for but couldn't find. But before we start, let's take a look at the man himself. Jared considers himself to be the alpha male, far above the rest of us, and much smarter than us. As such a smart man, he doesn't have time for things like personal hygiene. He's too busy trying to wake up the masses to do things like change his shirt daily, or get up to use the bathroom. That's why he keeps pee jugs in handy reaching distance. And don't even bother thinking that a man as important as him would clean his room. Nope. That is for simps. The room he lives in reminds me of Chris Chan's room circa 2009, only messier. What Jared Genesis, or Jared Juggernaut, or Punky J, like I said, lots of YouTube channels over the years, is best known for is what I'm about to show you. Before I play it, headphone warning. Jared screams right into his mic. I've lowered the volume quite a bit, but it's still obnoxious, so you may want to turn it down on your end. You're the biggest moron I ever met in my life, Chris. You take the cake. You understand that? You've got to be the biggest dumbass I've ever met in my life, bro. You seriously, man. You win the Nobel Prize for dumbass. Yeah. Why don't you make me? I'll beat your ass if you come in here, man. I'm not playing. I'll beat your fucking ass, man. I'll beat your motherfucking ass. You hear me? I'll beat your motherfucking ass. Don't play with me, boy. Don't play with me, boy. God damn. You guys are making me fight my family. Look at this shit. I swear to God, you guys, I'm going to get you back for this, Chris. I'm going to fucking get you back for this. You understand, you son of a bitch. You might get my computer taken away, but I'll get it back. Don't worry. I'll get it back, motherfucker. I'll get it back, motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Sick of this goddamn shit. I'm a grown-ass man, motherfucker. God damn it. Fuck you. I don't need this goddamn shit. You motherfucker, Chris, listen to me, you piece of shit. I will have the last laugh with you. I will fucking have the last laugh. You may have fucking ruined my family, but I'm gonna find out where you live and I'm gonna fucking end your life. You understand that, Chris? I'm gonna fucking end your sad life, man. This isn't over yet, bro. I'm gonna fucking end you, Chris. I know your name. It's Christian Thurston. And I'm coming looking for you, Christian. I'm coming looking for you, Christian. I'm gonna fucking end your life. You understand that? I'm gonna end your sorry fucking life. I'm gonna slit your goddamn throat, Chris. I'm gonna end you. That was him getting mad at a troll, then threatening his dad, because of course he still lives with his parents. He's 37 and has yet to move out. Basically, the poster boy for neat. As in, not in employment, education, or training. I have no idea what his work history is, if any. I've heard he used to work at Jack in the Box, but I'm not so sure when that was or if it even really happened. 
He has been quoted as saying, anyone who works a nine-to-five job is a slave who sold their souls. You might also know Jared from his um rather concerning views on dating. Anyways, guys, had a lot of fun chat with y'all, man. I was having kind of a shitty day because this girl kind of broke up with me. It was a dumb internet relationship anyway, though. And come to find out, she may have been a tad bit underage, and that's why that Thomas the Tank Engine guy was calling me a pedo. Just dumb, corny bullshit like that. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I shouldn't let that bring me down. Doesn't seem too upset or embarrassed about it, does he? Keep in mind, the man was in his 30s when this was recorded. You may be thinking, well, maybe he didn't know she was underage until they broke up. I guess it's possible, but less likely when you consider his later thoughts on relationships. I don't care about age. I date anybody. It doesn't matter. I don't follow society's rules. And, you know, people think ill of me for that, but it doesn't matter to me. I never cared about what people think of me, you know? That's why Chris calls me a pedo and all these funny names. You know, even though he's really just, I, I don't think there's a word that can describe his level of sickness, but if you feel you have chemistry towards someone, you know, like you connect in a spiritual way, then go for it. Whether they're, you know, 14, 48, 99, whatever, doesn't matter, dude. Sure, 12 is cool with me. That's great, man. See, the funny thing about adolescence is they never sold their soul yet. And so they still have purity in them. And if you can get one young like that, then that's freaking great. Um, you know, most of the time, though, their parents probably wouldn't be cool with that. And that's understandable. But the funny thing is, a lot of parents are, are so stupid and they insult their own children saying, you know, well, my kid can't date someone younger because their brain hasn't developed. Because basically, you know, it's like saying they're stupid. My kid's stupid. So I don't want them dating someone older because they're just going to make stupid choices because they're dumb. I mean, what kind of piece of crap parent says that? Hell yes, I would, dude. I would date an 11-year-old, 9-year-old, doesn't matter. I look in the spiritual aspect of it. If I spiritually connect to someone, it doesn't matter, dude. 99, 8, 1,000 years old, it doesn't matter. And if you think ill of me for that, that's on you. I really don't give a shit. I told you he was vile. He tried to delete this one after some backlash, but luckily people have saved it. I got my version from Grease Wizard, a man who has made it part of his mission to keep the spotlight on our little alpha. That video also included a lot of texts, supposedly sent by Jared to underage girls, where he says five years old isn't too young. Like I said, vile. But to be fair, I have no idea where these chats came from, so I'm not going to include them in this video. This isn't the only Jared leak, though. The drunken peasant's got a hold of some of his Discord chats, and they also show his thoughts on age and dating. Honestly, I'm shocked. I mean, Jared is such a catch. I'm sure of-age women must be beating down his door. Seriously, though, I'm not going to put this stuff in my video because it's really gross, but I will link both of those videos in the description so you can see for yourself if you want. But be warned, you're probably going to need multiple showers after reading that mess. I know I did. Now, knowing Jared's interesting take on dating and age, is it any surprise he decided to throw his two cents in when EDP got caught texting a minor? Let me just make a few things clear first, because I gotta make things clear for everyone, because, you know, thank you. people like to judge. Um, listen, I'm not defending the N-word. Okay, he made a mistake. And, I, uh, you know, he may not entirely own up to it, but... Look, bro, you know, he admitted to that pedo poacher guy what was going on. You know, you can watch the video. And look, man, he was caught in a weak moment, okay? It happens. It happens to the fucking best of us, all right? And again, I'm not defending him. Really? Because it sounds exactly like you are defending him. And Jared, I can assure you, it does not happen to the best of us. Okay, okay. Enough about that. Let's talk about something a little funnier. Like his one-sided feud with the Green Ranger, Jason David Frank. Though even that falls into the what-the-fuck-Jared territory by the end. What? How could he not love Tommy Oliver? He was so dreamy. I mean, sure, he was a bad boy, but all he needed was someone to understand him, and I could have totally fixed him as his platonic best bud. 
I even wrote a 500 page fanfic called The Green Werewolf Strikes Twice at Midnight on Full Moons in December. You know, back when the show was popular. All that aside, what kind of monster do you have to be to hate on one of the Power Rangers? My first crush was on the Yellow Ranger. My second, the Pink Ranger. My third was on the lead singer of Hanson, Taylor Hanson. And don't you tell me you didn't make that mistake too. Let me set the stage. Jared has been studying karate at YouTube University for over a decade. So you know he's going to be badass, but don't take my word for it. Let's see what he has to say. Listen, man, to any of you who want to fight me, who are man enough to fight me, I'll fight you, okay? I didn't want to have to take it this route, but you guys are just, you're, you're fucking pushing it, man, really. If any of you guys want to fight me, we can do this, but I'm just letting you know right now, it's not going to be good on your part, okay? I'm 6'1", 232 pounds. I'll knock you and your little cuck friends down like bowling pins, all right? I'll snap you like a fucking Kit Kat, bro. You don't want nothing to do with me. I don't care what you think about me that I'll get wanded in a fight. All I need is a good one-two punch, and you're down on the fucking ground, man, really. You guys are pussies. I think a lot of you just need an ass-kicking. I'm from the South, and that's how we talk down here, man. A lot of pussies. They just need a good fucking ass-kicking, bro. Um, I don't know why people hate me so bad or why they talk this shit. I think I can answer that question for you, Jared. You want to date children. Now, I don't know about you, but I am totally scared of this guy. He's tough. And he has a black belt that he awarded to himself. I would never talk shit about such an alpha. Look how intimidating he is. I don't want none of this smoke. You all talk that good game behind your computer, but we all know you're a bitch. We all know you're a little bitch, kid. Little pussy ass hiding behind that computer. Little pussy ass hiding behind your fucking computer. But, for the sake of journalism, I'll attempt to swallow my fear of this man-beast and continue. So one day, young Jared wanted to show his skills off to the world. And what better place than a gym owned by Mr. Jason David Frank, a.k.a. the Green Ranger, himself. When Jared got there, things did not go quite as he expected. But let's hear his take. Oh. Yeah. I hate Jason David Frank. I went over there to his karate place one time just because I love Power Rangers. That's a rad series. I'm not going to hate on Power Rangers. But, um, fuck, man. Like, I set up an appointment just to do a little sparring, you know what I'm saying? Just to get my spar on with someone. And the guy was the biggest piece of shit I ever met in my life, man. His name was Jason. Just to clear things up, he's talking about a different Jason. So Jason David Frank is the guy that owns the place, that's the Green Ranger, and he was sparring with a different guy, also named Jason. And this scrawny ass, ugly looking motherfucker was such a douchebag to me, man. He was like, I don't know what it was, dude. He was just being really like hostile, like in a weird manipulative way because I like karate and he thought that I was an idiot because I like karate and shit like that, like closed minded MMA bullshit. And, like, I was like, well, okay, I'll still spar with this guy because he's a nut job and I want to fuck him up because he pisses me off. But, um, so, like, a few days later, man, I just, like, I got in the ring and I'll admit, I just choked, dude. I, I froze because it was my first time sparring and, you know, he was pretty fucking tall. And so he beat my ass, man. He, he beat the shit out of me like a fucking redheaded stepchild. But it pissed me off. So bad because Jason Frank, this so-called really respectable, you know, fucking 10th degree black belt motherfucker, he didn't stop the fight, dude. He watched me get pounded. He watched me take every hit from this stupid ass fucking little college fret boy, man, this fucking retard kid. It was just disgraceful, man. And like... I didn't say anything because I was mainly just like fucking shocked and like weirded out by the whole weird Power Rangers situation. But like Jason Frank, dude, he was like a dick about it. He's like, you should not be fighting with your level of experience. And I was like, fuck you, man. I learned my shit on YouTube. <laughs> no, I didn't say that, but that'd be funny. 
But like, fuck, man, I still knew about stuff. I just wanted to apply it to the ring. And he just had to be so high and mighty and fucking, he even told me to my face, he's like, I'm a 10th degree black belt, blah, blah, blah. Like he had to brag about it. Like he had to fucking put himself above me just because he's a fucking martial artist. What kind of goddamn bullshit is that? What kind of bullying is that? You think you're better than me, Jason Frank? You think you're fucking better than me, Jason David Frank? Well, then fucking talk shit to my face, you little cunt, you little spandex-wearing bitch. You're just mad because you had not had a fucking career break in like 15 years. You fucking washed up piece of shit. Jason didn't know it then. Or ever, really. But this began the greatest feud since the Hatfields and the McCoys. Jared Genesis versus Jason David Frank. Jared struck the first blows by making such videos as Jason David Frank is a murderer or Jason David Frank assassination attempt. To which Mr. Frank had no response. Probably because the video only got a few hundred views and he never knew about them. But that's not all Jared did. He, or actually one of his fans, I guess he has fans, took a page out of the Chris Chan book and made Jared and Jason David Frank in a UCF game so Jared could claim his much-needed victory. While viewing it, Jared decided to honor the OG of low-cost video games, DSP himself, by filming it with his camera as he provided commentary. All right, guys, here we go. Jerry Juggernaut versus Jason David Frank. It's Frank and Pooh. He loves cock. Did you guys see that? Look at that green power wanger. He about to get his ass whipped today. Jason Frank. <laughs> Let's get it, guys. Shoutouts to Zoe for doing this awesome fight. <laughs> I love the fact that, too. <laughs> Check that out, dude. He loves cock. He loves his cock. Alright. Where's the big man at? Here we go. Here's the juggernaut. Made me a little bit small there, but that's okay, Zoe. <laughs> nah, still a great job. No, we ain't touching those gloves. <laughs> Fuck him, dude. He's a coward. Let's beat his ass. Yay! Love it. Come on, Frankie Pooh. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Suck on that, Frankie. Suck on that, little Franken poo. Bam. Bam. Got him. Got you, Frankie. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, little Power Ranger lost. <laughs> Got him. That's how the Juggernaut do, bro. That's how the Juggernaut do. Yay! <laughs> Cheers, guys. Hell yeah. Sure. On the surface, it seems like a completely bitch move to brag about a video game version of you beating a weekend video game version of another person. And yes, Jared does come off as a bit of a giant man baby who couldn't fight his way out of a Dorito bag. Eat his way out, maybe. What? I can say that. I'm fat. But you're missing the nuance. This is him telling Jason David Frank what would happen the next time they met instead of, you know, actually facing him or telling him to his face or even using a method that he would ever know about. The feud quieted for a while after that until Jason sadly died. R.I.P. Jason. Jared took this as a sign to ramp things up. He made quite a few videos milking it for every view he could, beginning with this one. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. Amazing news. He also dragged the man's name through the mud with all sorts of unfounded allegations. 
Because Alf is like Jared, don't got time for facts. Or showers. Or even deodorant, really. But enough about this kid trying to be edgy for views. Let's talk about something more fun. Like his never-ending quest for internet fame. That's his dream. His whole reason to exist. He really wants to go viral. Nothing wrong with wanting to go viral, bro. Heck, who doesn't wish they could quit their jobs on YouTube full-time? I certainly would, if I, you know, worked. The problem is, Jared will do anything to go viral. And I mean anything. From acting a fool to portraying himself as a far-right pro-God douchebag. Don't get me wrong. I don't really care about your feelings on politics or God. Let people leave the way they want, I say. As long as they aren't A, trying to force it on others, or B, hurting others, or C, banning books. Ooh, book banners really steam my clams. But that's another video. Jared can't even do this right, though. Take a look. Um, but anyways, as a conservative, I do believe in God, and I do believe in family values, and I do most importantly, well, I won't say most importantly, God is most important, but very, very high up there. I believe in equality, okay? Now, you won't hear this from a Democrat, you know, from a, a Black Lives Matter type person because they see us all as the same thing. But true conservatives care about equality. We don't care about the color of your skin. We don't care about any of that, okay? Now, of course, you have some people, all right, who are racist, and, you know, that goes without saying... But the truth of the matter is, guys, times have changed. You know, I know the a lot of these blacks, they want to think, and not just blacks, but a lot of these, you know, SJWs, they want to believe that whites are all racist, but we're really not as bad as we used to be. I would say the biggest racists now are people who are black and brown. I'm sorry if that offends some of you guys, but that's just how I see it. I mean, I've made certain videos where I get so much hate, and I, I know... It's black and brown people. Like, it's more than evident. Um, we're not going to go too big into that, but I'll just leave it there. But to me, being a conservative is someone who cares about equality, someone who cares about the little guy. You know, one of the greatest presidents to ever walk the earth, Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon? Bro, it was supposed to be Ronald Reagan. Can't you get anything right? Look. Just because you're old enough to have actually voted for Nixon doesn't mean supporting him is a good look. But for Jared, when that doesn't work, he inevitably swings to the look stupid online to get famous side of things, including, but not limited to, dancing half naked. <laughs> Don't believe me? Well, I just so happened to have a video. And since I had to suffer through it, you should too. Don't worry, I replaced the music with something more YouTube friendly and captured it the lowest quality I could because, you know, my eyes. You may want to skip the next 38 seconds of this video for your sanity, just an FYI. After years of filming stupid things in the hope of gaining internet fame, he finally went to the place all people with delusions of grandeur go. No, not Congress. I'm talking about the other cesspool. TikTok. Are you really surprised the dude who thinks it's okay to date eight-year-olds is on TikTok? Yeah, me neither. Now, Jared loved TikTok. He was getting more views than he ever had before. But there was a problem. Lots of TikTokers or as he likes to call them, liberal cucks, had problems with him. I can't show you any of his TikTok clips because his account was deleted a few months back, and I couldn't find any of them. But, what do you think the over-under is he duetted with some underage girls? Now, what I can show you is his reaction to his TikTok comments. Make sure you have your hypocrite bingo card ready, because Jared is about to project big time. All right. Uh, to the lovely people of TikTok, um, 
let's have a chat, shall we, guys? Take a seat. First of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name's Jared. I'm 36 years old. I've been doing YouTube for roughly 10 years. Um, within those 10 years, I've had quite an experience. <laughs> quite an experience. And um, I understand how YouTube works. Really, I would say the majority of the internet works, but YouTube specifically, um, if you know the game StarCraft, it's basically where you have you know a big group of people trained to fight another group of people more or less speaking in you know layman's terms here this is what YouTube is um, people like to play command and conquer you know they use their fan bases to try to bully and harass other people it's really quite childish and dumb I've played these games, you know, I've done the little StarCraft battles with different channels before in the past. It was, I mean, aside from the amusement, it was generally a waste of my time. It was stupid. And, uh, although I wouldn't say I regret it, I just, you know, if I could go back, no, I probably wouldn't engage because really, I mean, I have better things to do with my time. Um, to all my haters on TikTok, it's kind of funny calling you guys this. A lot of you look like you're in your 30s. But I would assume you've gone to one of these little, you know, StarCraft channels. These people that like to play Command and & Conquer. And you heard a bunch of silly shit from them. Okay? What you guys need to realize is clout chasing is how a lot of people survive. A lot of people can't survive without drama on YouTube. They need it. They need to, you know, make up some stupid story or, you know, cause some kind of silly drama in order to succeed. And um, I'll admit I've given lots of people a lot of views um, by playing their stupid game. And I'm just going to say right now, you know, after my two-year break here on YouTube... I'm not playing these stupid games anymore. I know you guys want a reaction. Oh man, it's not gonna happen. Um, why? Why would I even get upset by this? I mean, it's really just silly. Like, guys, come on. A lot of y'all, you look like you got kids. You look like your parents. Why? Why are you on the internet acting like a child? I don't. I don't understand. You know, and I get it. I'm a weirdo, you know, I'm this and that, and that's totally fine if you think that. I mean, whatever. I don't care. But just act your fucking age, man. I mean, really, like, it's pathetic. You guys just are acting like a bunch of children. And I honestly feel sorry for you that you think that's how one adult is supposed to act. Um, you know, and I'm not here to name call and say, you know, who simps, cuckolds, thoughts, whatever. Okay, um, look, at the end of the day, alright, we're all adults here. Um, I'm almost 40, you know. I don't have any desire to do these flame wars with people, as they call it. You know, uh, I don't care to. I, d I don't have anything to prove to anyone, okay? Um, and I'm not here to try to explain myself. I, you know... I don't have nothing to prove except to the man upstairs, okay, except to God. That's the only the only thing, not a person, but a thing I care about, you know, who thinks about me is God. And God is the only one that I serve. So speaking in terms of people, it doesn't matter to me. Um, you can think what you like, and I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings or whatever, but... I'm not going to change, and you're not going to keep me off sites like TikTok. I'm going to have fun and do what I want, and while you guys can judge me and sit around playing the name game, uh, just realize when you point a finger, three fingers point back, okay? You don't know the first thing about me, buddy. <laughs> you don't. You don't know me from Adam and Eve, and judging someone based on words is really quite stupid. 
judge people by actions. That's what strong men do. That's what strong women do. If I said something that offended you, I'll be the bigger man and I'll say that I'm sorry, but really, you know, words shouldn't offend you. As an adult, guys, remember the old saying, sticks and stones? Words shouldn't offend you. They're just words, okay? Um, I realize I'm liberal in some of my ideologies, but like I said, you guys, you don't know the first thing about me. You don't know me. You don't know what kind of person I am. You know, um, you don't. Okay, so like, again, um, I'm not here to try to fight anyone. Okay, um, I know the people who are trying to get me in trouble, who are trying to, you know, throw me off my square. Uh, these kinds of people <laughs> are bad people. These kinds of people are really the ones you should be mad at, but sadly, you know, narcissists, uh, their greatest talent is manipulation. And I know that some of you follow these narcissists, these, uh, you know, certain YouTubers who like to play the good guy, when in fact they are terrible, miserable people who get off on other people's pain. So, that's all I really have to say. Um, you know, if you're someone who just wants to have a conversation with me in a civil way, please, by all means, reach out to me on Minds.com, Jared Genesis, and we can talk like adults. I'm not responding to name-calling. That's stupid. And again, if you're, like, 30 years old and act like that, I just honestly, like, I feel sorry for you that you think being childish like that is how an adult is supposed to act. Dude. That's exactly how you acted when you were 30 and 35. And now that I think about it, yesterday. You know what, though? Maybe I'm being a little too critical. It is nice of him to take the high road. Maybe, dare to say, our boy is finally growing up. Next thing you know, he'll get a job and a place of his own. Or maybe he'll make not one, but two videos mocking the people who left comments on his TikTok. All right, you guys. Are you ready to cringe? Uh... I just want you guys to look at some of these degenerates that are fucking hating on me. Uh, but this is a perfect example right here. Here's your typical cat lady fem cell with her fucking cat. Let's take a look at her cute little cat. You know what, sweetheart? I'm glad you got this pussy because, let me tell you something. I know ain't nobody touching the other pussy. And that's for damn sure. God, Jared. That joke is older than you. Hell, it's older than me. Sorry, I'm not going to keep interrupting. I just couldn't help myself there. I mean, that was really low-hanging fruit, which is the only kind Jared will get because he's lazy. No, no, no. Sorry. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> you all a bunch of incels. How does it feel, girls? How does it feel to be the incel now? To know that no guy wants you. Give him clout, hun. You have 199 followers, says the name Shut Up Bitch 21. <laughs> What a classy name. You know, I'm sure you're a real classy chick with your dog photo. So we got ourselves a dog and so. So, this guy, I was looking at you earlier. We got the typical hipster fucking little bitch uh, trying to be punk rock with a suicidal tendencies bandana. No, you're just a degenerate fucking hipster, dude. Okay, clean your fucking ears out. I'm sure they're dirty and fucking smelly. You're disgusting trash. What else we got? So, uh, all these people following me. Thanks so much. Someone liked my video. <laughs> Someone made a duet. Let's watch it. Sure, why not? Uh, yes. Well, this is the FBI. Uh, you said that there was some kind of TikTok that we Look at this degenerate. Up. Look at her fucking thousand yeah, cock stare. Pedophile. <laughs> pedophile. Hilarious, bro. Pedophile. <laughs> um, she I'm can't even to... say nothing, dude. She can't even say nothing. Because she knows that, you know, they're a bunch of losers. And that everyone on here are hypocrites. She knows it. I can, I can see it in her fucking thousand cock stare. She knows it. 
I'm thinking Jared must be afraid of heights because he never actually takes the high road. Fortunately for everyone, he got banned on TikTok pretty quickly. How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Jay Genesis here. And, um... <laughs> have I got a story for you. Uh, gather around, kiddos. Yeah, I bet you do want those kiddos to gather around, don't you, Jared? You know, come see Uncle Jared. He's gonna tell you a story as I get uh, macaroni and cheese sauce off my chin. You guys like my beard? Growing out the beard, thought it'd be a nice change. I don't know, bro. Uh, we'll see how it goes anyway. I'll probably shave it off tomorrow, knowing me. But All right. Uh, my hilarious 5 gigabyte free storage. Free cloud. Oh, it's an advertisement. Sorry, guys. I'm getting distracted here. Um, my hilarious TikTok story. My um, little escapade that I had. Oh my lord, bro. Oh my lord in heaven. Um, the truth of the matter is this, guys. Like, we are living in the movie Idiocracy. Um, you can't tell me otherwise, dude. You just can't. Unfortunately, most people are very stupid these days. Like, eh, I'm sure there's statistics out there, but the world is gradually getting dumber and dumber. Um, I got myself on a, a little bit of trouble on TikTok because, um, <laughs> let's just say I was being edgy on a video. This was a few years back. It was obvious that I was trolling. But these people are so dumb that they can't see that. They can't see that I was just being a shitlord. And it's, I mean, dude, honestly, it's just sad to me. Like, truly, how stupid these people are. And I amassed so many haters in such a small amount of time. Uh, I mean, really, I'm going to be honest. Like, this, this was my greatest troll ever. Just triggering all these leftists, dude. You know, all these simps and cat ladies. Because let's just be honest, that's the majority of TikTok. Aside from the youth. But if you're talking about people my age or in their 20s, dude. Like, let's just be real, bro. It's... <laughs> It's all a bunch of losers, man. I'm sorry to be so blunt about it. And actually, I'm not sorry. But that's really what it is, man. People with low IQs, low attention spans that are just sad individuals. And um, I, I got some videos that literally racked up to like 30k views <laughs> in this short amount of time. It's incredible to me. That's like the total views I've received in the 10 years I've been on the <laughs> internet. Well, not really, but probably not that far off from it. I think I, dude, I think I may have even got one with like 60k views. I don't know, I forgot. Uh, I kind of lost track of everything. But I'm telling you guys, TikTok really is the biggest cancer of the internet. Like, they're they're using it to track you. It's just like Facebook, you know. They're, they're manipulating stupid people is what they're doing. Uh, it's a government psyop, you know what I mean? Um, it, it's, it's used to track people. That's what it's used for, bro. And, um, all I can say is, dude, if things ever do become 1984 around here, it's going to be so easy for them, dude, because people are just giving their rights away, you know, not just like with more personal stuff, but people are just so dumb the way they allow themselves to be tracked. And things like that, you know. Um, it's incredible to me, bro. Like, we are living in the movie Idiocracy. And it's only a matter of time before society completely collapses. At least here in the States. You can tell, like, if you do research in countries that have fallen under communism and other dictatorships. We're in that, we're in that state right now where it, like, almost happens. You know what I mean? Like, we, we've just, we've, we're not even a nation anymore, bro. We're just the United States of stupid. I mean, really, we're, we're all just fucking circus monkeys here. And it's, it's a real shame, bro. Let me get, I'll give you guys another example of just how fallen my fucking democracy is here in the States. Three years ago, and I'm not even kidding, my fucking house got swatted ten 
times. Ten times, ten separate occasions. Because law enforcement here is that stupid. They're that dumb to where they allow things like this to happen. It's incredible, man. I really, you know, um, I should, I should honestly sue the FBI or the police or someone for letting this happen to me. And I'm still dealing with bullshit to this day because of my whack job trolls, you know, who are obsessed with me, who wish that they were me. And can't for the life of them understand why they can, you know, why they can't garner a following. Because they have no personality. And they're just, you know, they're vacant in the head. Like these TikTokers, bro. And it's just, I'm telling you, man. Look, I'm just going to be real, too. Like, I can tell my time on TikTok is about done. Uh, I've had probably like five videos uh, taken down. And I'm sure if I get even a few more, I'll probably lose my account. But... That's kind of why I wanted to make this story, just, <laughs> just to have a good laugh at it with you guys. And just the amount, let me tell you guys, the most funny thing about this, bro, is like, the majority of the trolls that I got <laughs> were women, literally, with cats in their photos. I mean, if that doesn't tell you something, bro, <laughs> then nothing does. Then nothing does. So... That's really what I got for you on this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. So that was Jared Genesis. And believe it or not, I just scratched the surface. I captured hours of footage, and I planned on showing more clips of him being an all-around incel, red pill douchebag, or just ranting about SJWs. But if I have to watch one more of his inane video clips, I'm going to go crazy. So let's end this video with Jared's version of MTV Cribs, a.k.a. Punky J's Hole in the Wall. It is very nice of him to document his slow transformation into Barbara Chandler, though, isn't it? What did you think of this video? I sure would appreciate a comment letting me know. Would you like to see more Jared stuff? Let me know that, too. Heck, tell me anything. I love reading the comments I get. I really do have to say thank you to all of you. This little channel is growing much faster than I ever dreamed possible. Y'all are amazing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for making it to the end. And enjoy the rest of this horrible tour. And finally, thank you for being you. Ooh, I kind of like that. Maybe I got my new ending.